G'day everyone, Brian from Prime Cuts Lawn Care here. It's um, Tuesday morning, about 9.30. We've had rain and it's still mizzle rain, drizzly mizzly rain. Just looking down the driveway across the road, you can see the uh, old oaks or elms, they're losing their leaves. Uh, like the other video I did on the cleanup. But... Um, what I'm doing today is just a little update and I'll just come back into the garage and we can see my new little ZT2000 Bobcat. Um, it was just an update on uh, the hydros and the transaxles. So... And sorry for the delay on this because I mentioned it in the previous video, but there you can see the, the area over here and the area over here where your expansion tanks normally go. And what I found out, courtesy of both my dealer, Yas Outdoor Power Centre, uh, Neil's great there, he did some investigating. I uh, had the serial numbers and all that sort of stuff, but I also uh, emailed Hydro Gear Direct. And these transaxles have, do have the internal expansion tanks in them. So that's really good. And um, I'll, I'll go back inside in a minute and I'll uh, show you how you can determine... Um, if, if you get these, uh, whether they do have the internal expansion tanks. Just on another note, um, they, were, they were being, I thought they were playing up, but they actually weren't. It, um, it was to do with the handbrake. And if we can get in here, you can see up here, there's a lock nut on this side. Of the of where on this side of the spring there's a lock nut on the other side well it had, it had come loose for some reason and it was interfering particularly with uh, this right transaxle engaging or you know because it was it was locking up so um, I didn't want that to occur and it was happening it happened a bit too much and I, I went back into the dealer and we checked it all out and we, we found out what that was so every everything's all good there i guess you know it's like everything you've just got to check when you get things which are new that everything's um tight and you know bolted in or bolted bolted down properly but at the moment um we can see here i've got 13.1 hours on the little bobcat i did the five hour uh, oil change, um, oil and filter without a problem, and she's running like a train, so she's going really, really well. All right, give me one second, and I'll show you how to determine whether these transaxles are uh, have the internal expansion, the internal expansion tank. Okay, so when you get your mower on each side of the the transaxles or your hydro gear there's some little stickers and and these are actually these these two there's they can be pulled off so um and taken off and i just leave them in with my manual but what you'll see there is where you've got model number you've got a 13 alpha numeric number the 13th number or or, or alphanumeric which is actually alpha you'll see it's um it's the second last from the right it'll have a t so one's got two mtx and the other's got three mtx the t stands for the internal expansion tank so as i said there before both my dealer yes outdoor power center and hydro gear came back to me very quickly, which I'm very appreciative of, to say that's how you determine uh, whether you've got the internal expansion tank. So 
as I said, everything's going really well. Uh, there's no real problem. Well, there aren't any problems at all. So um, a wet day, quiet day, most probably an office day and just a bit of rest. Um, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you soon. Thank you.